winning big, big, big in the Republican Party for the nomination like nobody's ever seen before. Let's see, there it is, Trump at 71, Ron DeSanctimonious at 10%. Did you catch that? Former President Trump rallying for Republican candidates in Pennsylvania last night and taking aim at his potential 2024 opponent in the GOP presidential primary for the first time, calling out Florida Governor Ron DeSantis with that nickname, as you heard there. Well, today, both Trump and DeSantis keeping their distance as they take part in dueling rallies in Florida. Trump stumping for Republican Senator Marco Rubio, who is trying to capture a third term in office. DeSantis, meantime, doing his own tour of the state ahead of the midterms as he looks to secure a second term in the governor's mansion. Correspondent Xavier Walton is live for us in Miami. And Xavier, are we watching potential 2024 battle lines being drawn tonight? Natasha, it certainly appears that way, does it? Especially when you, you played that clip there at the very beginning from last night. But tonight, a, a much different story, one of unity for the, the Republican Party here in Miami-Dade County, here in Miami, Florida. And this, as candidates, really crisscross uh, the state just ahead of midterms on Tuesday. It was tonight a who's who of the Republican Party in Miami, headline, of course, by former President Donald Trump, Donald Trump Jr. was there, too. Senator Rick Scott addressed the crowd. Uh, Senator Marco Rubio, who is seeking his third term, taking on the Democratic challenger, Congresswoman Val Demings. Um, Rubio was Mr. Trump's special guest. Uh, here's part of Senator Rubio's short speech. Here's what's so interesting about this Tuesday. The momentum is building. The energy is building. It's building so fast that I just saw there's going to be a lunar eclipse on Tuesday. Did you see this? And the moon is going to be red on Tuesday. Even the moon is going red on Tuesday. So the crowd loving that, but Trump drawing the loudest applause from a really energized crowd of thousands. He talked uh, for more than a couple of hours or right around two hours. His speech uh, ran the gamut, all the major issues, including inflation, immigration, uh, policing, uh, even talking about the 2020 election. Uh, talked about a potential red wave coming in just a few days. Uh, here's part of that now. Vote for Republicans up and down the ballot. This Tuesday, you have to crush the communists at the ballot box. I don't say socialists anymore. I don't say socialists anymore. The socialist, communist, and Marxist direction of the radical Democrat Party is one of the biggest reasons that Hispanic Americans are joining our movement by the millions and millions and millions. Now, with all that Republican star power here in Miami this evening, there was one notable absence you mess, mess, mentioned it in the early on uh, of this uh, hey governor ron DeSantis. he was on the west coast uh, western part of florida today campaigning now there has been rumors of a potential presidential run come 2024 and there's even some polling we're going to throw that up on the screen now um that polling according to data for progress uh, if governor ron DeSantis and president trump were to run for president uh DeSantis leads in the polls 44% to Trump's 42%. Again, this is extremely uh, preliminary considering Governor Ron DeSantis is still seeking re-election come Tuesday's, Tuesday's midterms. Natasha, I'm going to go ahead and send it back to you from Miami. Appreciate it. Xavier Walton live for us tonight. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.